Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to use long division to divide the polynomial x to the power of fourth plus 3x cubed minus x squared minus 4x minus 1 by x plus 1. And note that the principle of long division of polynomials is exactly the same as long division of ordinary numbers and uh, I would write this out in exactly the same fashion so um, my dividend which is x to the power of fourth plus blah 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 I'm just going to write it down my dividend is going to be written inside this bar and I'm going to write my divisor x plus 1 outside of this bar and uh, I note that I have the polynomial written in descending order so the highest power is out the front and I write the consecutive lower powers in order most of the time you'll find that a polynomial is written in this form anyway but um, it's always good to make sure that we have uh, the polynomials written in descending order for both the divisor and for both the divisor and the dividend and from here we pretty much treat the uh, division normally as well except for we're using x's and coefficients I should say we're using degrees of x and uh, coefficients rather than numbers so let's have a go the first thing is what degree of x should I multiply this x by to get x to the power of fourth and the answer is x to the power of three and note I'm going to write x to the power of three in the same column as uh, the degree that's below in the same column as the degree of x that's in the bar I don't have to I could write this x to the power of three out here um, but it makes it clearer uh, it makes just more sense to write it in the same column so let's go on forth and do that so x to the power of three multiplied by x is going to give me x to the power of fourth x to the power of three multiplied by x to the power sorry multiplied by one is going to give me x to the power of 3 and likewise with ordinary long division I would subtract this new line from the line above so I'm going to put it in parentheses with a minus sign at the front uh, if you've ever seen this in textbooks normally they would not have this uh, negative and the parentheses written out the front and I don't agree with that because that would imply addition uh, I want to make it very clear that we are subtracting so x to the fourth minus x to the fourth is zero. Three x to the power of three minus x cubed is going to be equal to two x. And the next step is to bring this minus x to the fourth down to the next line. So I now ask the question what do I multiply by x to get 2x to the power of 3? Well I have to multiply that by 2x squared. So 2x squared times x is going to give me 2x cubed and 2x squared times 1 is going to give me 2x I'm sorry I made a mistake here this should be x squared not x to the power of fourth so 2x times 1 is going to give me 2x squared and again I subtract So 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0, minus x squared minus 2x, is, uh, minus 2x squared is going to give me 
minus 3x squared and the next step is to bring down this minus x sorry minus 4x okay so the next step what do I multiply x by to get minus x uh, minus 3x squared and the answer to that would be minus 3x so minus 3x times x will give me minus 3x squared and minus 3x times 1 will give me minus 3x and again I subtract this new line from the line above it so negative 3x squared minus minus negative 3x squared will give me 0 minus 4x minus minus 3x will give me minus x and I'll bring down this minus 1 and finally what do I multiply by x to give negative x and the answer is negative 1 so negative 1 times x will give me negative x and negative 1 times 1 will give me negative 1 and again this new line is subtracted from the line above it and I should get a remainder of 0 so what this means is x to the power of 4 plus 3x cubed minus x squared minus 4x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 is equal to x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x minus 1 or similarly I can write this as x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus x squared minus 4x minus 1 is equal to x plus 1 times x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x minus 1 okay so that's just one example of long division of polynomials I'll do some more tricky ones in my upcoming video so stay tuned for those please hit the like button if this video has helped you if you are currently studying math please feel free to subscribe to my channel for future videos that may help you on exams or assignments and as always please feel free to ask me any question by commenting on any of the videos that you've seen. Thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something.